It's virtually impossible to eat just one. And that bright orange cheese powder all over your fingers? It's a dead giveaway that you were the one that polished off the bag. But as much as you love snacking on Cool Ranch, Cheese Supreme, or Blazin' Buffalo, there's probably a lot you don't know about your favorite chips. So dig deep and grab a handful. This is the untold truth of Doritos. Doritos Addiction Proven by Science You know that feeling you get when you're eating Doritos? Hey, are you gonna finish those? Sorry, they're already gone. No, they're not. You left the best part. No, I'm pretty sure they're... Mmm, jeez. Business Insider broke down the facts from food scientist Dr. Stephen Witherly's book, Why Humans Like Junk Food, and found that it's the cheesy powder that's responsible for the chip's serious addictiveness. Not only is it high in sugar and salt, which our taste buds love, it also contains a trio of acids that cause a release of saliva and trigger the urge to eat. In other words, they're literally mouth-watering. Witherly says our brains love fat, and Doritos contain 50% fat calories, which happens to be the ideal ratio. And, of course, there's the cheese which, when digested, has an opioid-like effect on our systems. No wonder we're hooked. Brought to you by Disney? Daddy, can you play Princess Fast and Joe's with me? Sweetheart, I'd love to, but the guys, they're outside waiting for me. When it comes to the invention of Doritos, there are two competing theories. One story goes that they got their start at Disneyland, another gives credit to Archibald West, a Frito-Lay marketing exec. But even Frito-Lay doesn't know the truth. PR director Joan Zatera told HuffPost, We don't have anything in our records or archives that confirms it. We don't credit any one individual for inventing our products. As for the Disneyland version, once upon a time, Frontierland was home to Frito-Lay's Mexican joint, Casa de Fritos. One day, a salesman noticed the cooks were throwing out stale tortillas and recommended they fry them in oil for a crispy snack. They were a big hit with diners, and the iconic chip had unofficially been born. Eventually, West visited Casa de Fritos and tasted the Doritos. He immediately started production in 1964, and they went nationwide in 66. But there's another side to this story. Did you find everything okay, sir? What? Okay, so what about Arch West? This side of the story goes that in 64, while on a family vacation in Southern California, West happened upon a roadside shack selling greasy bags of toasted tortillas. He then pitched the idea of crisp triangular tortilla chips to his company. Well, what do you think? <laughs> Whether or not Arch West actually invented Doritos, he was definitely loyal to the chips. According to his obituary, he ate them his whole life and was even sent new flavors to taste test long after retirement. When West died in 2011, his daughter told Dallas News, We are tossing Doritos chips in before they put the dirt over the urn. He'll love it. At least he got his dying wish. A jumbo casket full of Doritos. <laughs> a ladylike controversy. Doritos found itself in hot water when Indra Nui, CEO of PepsiCo, Frito-Lay's parent company, made some surprising comments during a Freakonomics podcast. When asked about the differences in the way men and women eat chips, Nui responded, Watch, a lot of the young uh, guys eat the chips. They love their Doritos and you know, they lick their fingers with great glee. <laughs> but she said of women, uh, They don't like to crunch too loudly in public. And, uh, you know, they don't lick their fingers generously. And she only made things worse, saying, Are there snacks for women that can be uh, designed and packaged differently? And how can you put it in your purse? This, of course, sent the internet into a tizzy, calling for Frito-Lay to rethink this sexist idea. PepsiCo quickly clarified, The reporting on a specific Doritos product for female consumers is inaccurate. We already have Doritos for women. They're called Doritos. Billy, mm. use the cleaner. Oh. Uh, touchdown. Snacktivism. In 2015, Doritos partnered with the It Gets Better project to launch Pride Flag-inspired Doritos Rainbow, which supported LGBTQ youth. Ram Krishnan, Frito-Lay chief marketing officer, explained, Time and again, our consumers have shown us there really is nothing bolder than being true to yourself. With Doritos Rainbow's chips, we're bringing an entirely new product experience to our consumers to show our commitment toward equal rights for the LGBTQ community. Collabing with the Bell 
A partnership with fast food titan Taco Bell, the Doritos Locos Taco was an immediate success. According to CEO Greg Creed, its launch in 2012 was the, quote, biggest in Taco Bell history, selling an astounding 500 million tacos in the first 14 months. That's more than 1 million tacos per day. We had a feeling it was going to be big, but no one predicted this. By 2013, they had hit $1 billion in sales. They should make a cool ranch one. Well, they better hurry up before I'm dead. It's crazy to think that the collab with Frito-Lay almost didn't happen, but issues with taste and texture kept the taco in development for years. Taco Bell product developer Steven Gomez told Business Insider, The idea sounds really simple, but it has to deliver on two fronts, the classic Taco Bell taste and the distinctive Doritos experience. Unlike a tortilla chip, taco shells can't break and have to properly hold the taco ingredients. They eventually got it right. Make that very right. And the rest is delicious history. What flavor are they going to make next? Action! I have no idea.